All right, guys, episode number 280, 280 episodes. A lot of videos recently showing off the 45,000 card collection. I'm down to two boxes, and then I found another big box of more base cards. So first off, we got a couple box toppers. We got Aaron Judge, nice little pose there, and Shohei Otani. Eventually what I'll do is I have a huge amount of box toppers and jumbo cards that I think would make sense to do in a big lot and then I can medium flat rate box those. That's a job for the future. All right, we got some top loaded cards. Start us off. Mojo Bowman Chrome First are always a good thing. I know he's a bigger prospect. So he's got those shades on, Luis Rodriguez. Got Jose Ramirez. Nice little photo variation short print out of 2022 maybe. maybe. Pedro Leon, don't know much about this prospect. I'll do some eBay searching. I'll list some of these tonight, probably. Carcion, number to 25. A card like that would be worth listing as well. Got some big stats there. Got 30 war. Got a couple, got about 600 RBI seasons, mirroring 400 home runs. Might be done now. We don't know exactly. Solid career. Borderline Hall of Fame, probably not there, though. We got Bobby Bradley, number 250. Bradley, number 99. So these four would make a perfect lot. They're not Bowman first. Two of them are rookies, but they're all numbered. Well, three are numbered refractors. That could be a good lot right there. Maybe eight bucks. Shane Bieber. That one must be numbered. Number to 100. Another same player, not numbered. It's the Topps Chrome Sapphire. Another Bowman first. If he's a decent prospect, if I can get 10 bucks or more, that'd be worth listing tonight. Nolan Jones, number to 125. Looks like a teal color. Key Brian Hayes, put up four war last year. Kind of sneakily does it like some players. Maybe the defense plays a part. Austin Meadows, I thought his war would have been higher. It's only like six for his career. Surprised by that. Mookie, Costa, not sure if he's relevant again. He was a big name two years ago. Key Brian Hayes, Jazz Chisholm, the star of MLB 2023 video game. He's the cover boy. Sixto Sanchez, gold foil, not numbered. Trey Sermon. Ooh, that's a good one. That's probably a $20 card. He's ripping it up in spring training this year. You get five home runs, batting 400. This one I'll list too. Darius Garland, Prism rookie. DeAndre Ayton, Prism. Brandon Clark. And Trey Lance. Good start right there. So this is your first video you've watched. Check out, I think I have six total. A bunch of these videos. All right, these are some more cards in that box. Scotty Barnes, we got some rookies here. We got Luca. Luca cards sell quick on eBay. Probably price them too low, but I'll take 45 bucks for 30 cards any day. Kid okay, Cunningham, Trey Young, Turbo Charge, little Zion. Evan Mobley, so if they're blue, that means they're retail. Got them from Target or Walmart. Josh Giddy. Jalen Green, John Morant. So these, if they're red backs, they're short prints. Probably five times the value of a base card. The Teal Explosion, I think it's called. A couple of rookie inserts. Paolo and Shiro. Probably the number one player in the draft class. Probably a $3 card. Walker Kessler, drafted by the Timberwolves, traded to Utah. Murray played for Iowa State. Just sold six of these for nine bucks. Took an offer. Emil Cruz again. Spencer Strider. That's worth listing right here. They're all together, ready to go. Huge value in this. 
when I bought this collection for 900 kind of paid on the low end just based on I didn't see many and pick didn't see many pictures if I would have seen more pictures I would have been more closer to his asking price of 1500 Lajetis, Fernando's brother. That might be worth listing, based as a mojo first. Verlander Gold, number 2022. Two more Striders. Put that there so don't forget. That's a short print. Ozzy Elbies. Wander. Call that a rookie. Soto. Derek Jeter. Everyone does the hobby different. Me buying big collections is, I think, the best way you can come ahead in the hobby. If I did grade, obviously that would help, but I still have never graded two million cards and never graded once. St. Brown, the Prism, it's out of Chronicles, I believe. Yeah. Got a lot of Chronicles out of this collection. Some might not be excited, but you get a lot of rookies that way. And a lot of Lucas. Numbered to 199, so that must have been a hobby box. I don't think there's much for retail numbered. Could be wrong. More hockey. Let's watch in Sports Card Investor, and the number two card of the week is a hockey card. I've already lost his name. Zach Parisi, I know that name. Living in Minnesota, I got a jersey card of Gabe Villardi. Hmm. Yeah, these are the young guns are the set to look at. So if there's anything over here that are over five bucks, let me know. Because I just don't know. Blaze Jordan. That's not a mojo. It's like a flash prism, flash refractor. It's different. I'm gonna see if that's a short print refractor, I'm not sure. Dominguez, it's a cool insert. Torkelson rookie. It's been a great box so far. More Mojo, Brian Hayes. Something like that I think is worth listing for five bucks. Number Thielen, Hunter Green. I marked down all my Thielen cards on eBay, all my Delvin Cook cards on eBay, because I think they'll be exiting the Vikings in a month or two. Hunter Green, first Bowman. He throws some nasty stuff, 100 miles an hour. Finding a lot of easy listers. Kyle Tucker, Jordan. Luciano, I gotta see if he is worth selling. Even a pair like this for five bucks. Doesn't take too long to list, easy to ship. I know that guy. From the MTV show a long time ago. Soccer, we'll just go in a box for many years. Maybe they'll marinate nicely over years yeah if there's anything to look for for rookies obviously rookies hold the value Altrask Prism Sean Taylor These were one per pack in a blaster box. Very common. Alec Thomas, good one. I think he'll have a breakout season. Royce Lewis, hopefully Kirilov and Royce Lewis can have a great season this year. They got all the tools. Luger Refractor, Say Suzuki Rookie. Good stuff. Brandon Marsh, Ethan Roberts, card collector. Hunter Green, rookie debut. 
Second row is not as promising as the first one we're looking through. We'll go through those quicker. I'll always enjoy a Miguel Cabrera refractor. That's the all-star game. It's almost been out of Topps Chrome update. Prospect inserts. It's out of 2022. Another Acuna. Jason Scott played in the World Series last year. Paul Thomas rookie. Another Miggy. Shohei. Thomas versus Lewis. Uh, 22, 2022 rookies are a lot better than 21. Someone's going to pop from that rookie class, and their cards are going to go way up in May. Got about four more stacks, and then it looks like just some tops base from 2022, which I'll fly through. I think refractors are every other pack. They're pretty common. a lot slower when I bring the box upstairs. Should be able to process this box before the kids come home. Got to run to the post office too. Seems like it's about 12 to 15 packages per day now. So it was 1% of my store. Now it's a little bit closer to 1.2, 1.3% of my store sells every day. Yesterday I listed 40 items. That's kind of been the number that I've been shooting for the last week. I'm up to about 850 listings. I want to get to 1,000 by April 1st. It's very doable. I'm taking some of my listings that I had, the big lots of autos and jerseys taking those down and then listing them individually. I did that for some basketball big lots yesterday. And I sold off four cards that night. And I had a bunch of watchers on some as well. So I'm gonna have to do that for baseball as well. So if you see any of the baseball autos and jersey lots, they're at a really good price right now because I've dropped the price a couple times. But if I take them down and sell them individually, I can come out ahead. And now that I can, that I'm comfortable with eBay standard envelope, that's not a deterrent anymore. It was all of January. If the card was under 20 bucks, I would lot it together. But now that I've sent out probably 30 to 40 cards in the eBay standard envelope with no issues, which is a miracle. We have sent out 350 packages since January 1st. I've only had one return. It was this card right here. The whole top loader was bent and the package was very soaked. So what he did is he put computer paper around the wet package, put a sticker on it and returned it. I'm like, what the heck? Not everybody has shipping supplies at home, I get it. But the good thing about this is the bend doesn't affect the auto. 
So what I can do is I can eventually cut this out and make a custom card. But it's unfortunate that one of the 250 of this card is destroyed. That's the only issue I've had with 350 sales. 100% feedback. I haven't had a negative feedback in over two years. I've probably had two total in my life. So, everyone talks about returns and upset customers. I just don't see it. it looks like this whole row is not base commons, it's all rookies. Sweet deal. So these are out of series two. Yeah, so probably five to six hundred rookies from series two. All right, two more stacks. Got some prism, got Rex Ryan. Boom. Got a Thielen. Yeah. And the last stack before I run to the post office. Got some sapphire. So maybe that was one blaster box. I think they do blasters of sass sapphire. Not entirely sure. Got Stuart Fairchild. for at least one big name. And then we got a couple silver prisms. Ooh, checkerboard. Yeah, Kurt Warner, I'll take that. These would be worth listing individually. I think there's a red in white checkerboard and there's a black and white checkerboard. I don't know which one's more rare. Maybe one is Walmart, one is Target. I'm not entirely sure. I assume that's a rookie. Looks like a, what is that? a training camp picture. Not bad, I'll take it. So another box, so one more box in the box that I have left, I think is all top loaded cards and a couple graded cards. And then I have a big box it's like it's bigger than a printer paper box that is probably let's say seven thousand base cards i assume they're base cards maybe they're not and i'll just go through that off camera all right thanks for watching appreciate it see you next time